Uh, this story is called The Little Stone Gas Station, and it takes place in 1960. And it goes with this quilt patch. Tommy lived on the farm by the side of the road. He loved the farm. And from an early age, he did everything he could to help take care of it. Even as a little boy, he would throw the feed out for the chickens, and he would brush the mules in the barn. And later, when he got older, he would harness the mules to the wagon to pull the rocks out of the field, or to pull the tractor out of the pond. When he was small, he had ridden up on top of the tractor with Grandpa Birch whenever they cut the hay. But now, he would drive the tractor down to the repair shop on the road. Tommy lived on the farm by the side of the road. He loved the farm, but he watched the road. Grandpa Birch had told him that when he first bought the farm, way back in 1890, the road was just a dirt track. That was when the railroad came into town. Years later, in 1920, there were more cars than there were horses. And so they graded and graveled the road, and they gave it a name, Highway 24. In 1930, Tommy's father was one of the lucky young men who got a job pouring cement on the road. And the road got another new name. Now it was known as U.S. Highway 70 North. And that's the name of the road to this day. Well, now Tommy hurried through his chores so that he could watch the road. He would count the cars that pushed by, and he would write down the makes and models. He loved to watch the cars. He thought about where they had been and where they were going. He thought about having his own car, not just any car. It was going to be a robin's egg blue convertible with frog eye headlights and a toothy chrome grill and shark fins. The year that Tommy was 16, his father sold some land at the back of the farm to the government to build that interstate highway. And with the money, Tommy's father bought him a car, his very own car. Now, it wasn't anything special. It was just an old Model A, but Tommy loved it. And it took him wherever he wanted to go, to school, to the drugstore, up to the square to buy gas at the gas station there, and on west of town to the drive-in some nights. Tommy loved to drive. And he drove a lot. The bills at that gas station began to mount up. His father had gotten him a credit account at the gas station, and the bills got higher and higher. Tommy's father joked, you know, Tommy, what you need is your own gas station. Well, they got him one. They collected stones from the field, and they built a little one-room gas station with an overhang over the pump to keep you out of the hot sun or the rain. And after school and on weekends, Tommy worked at that little stone gas station pumping gas for other folks. And that way, he was able to earn the money that he needed to put gas in his own little car. Well, the trouble was that Tommy would rather be driving than working. After a while, what he would do was work just enough at the gas station to give him the money to fill the tank, and then he'd close the gas station and be gone. Well, one Saturday morning, well, it wasn't really morning anymore. It was almost lunchtime when Tommy got out of bed. He'd been out late the night before driving around. He'd driven all the way to the lake and back. Well, now it was time to get up and do some chores. So he went out to the barn. He was gonna feed the prize mules, his father's prize mules.
But the trouble was when he got there, the mules were gone because Tommy's father had had to sell the mules to pay Tommy's gas bill. Well, Tommy couldn't believe it. Those mules were part of the family. They were prize mules. His father had raised them from colts, and he had put Tommy up on their backs when Tommy was too little to walk. Well, Tommy went back to work at the Littlestone gas station. He worked until he had earned enough money to buy back those mules. And when he had done that, when they were safe in the barn again, Tommy kept working. And from that day on, he never went driving without having earned the money for the gas at that little stone gas station. <laughs>